That thing is so cool looking. <laughs> Uh, all right enough talking let's get right into this what's up guys my name is Kelvin Wiley and welcome to my youtube channel if you are new if you could please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications that way you're alerted every time that I post a new video so today I am specifically looking for Dasimutilla occidentalis, which is the Eastern Velvet Ant, AKA the cow killer. Now I've already made a video once before on the Eastern Velvet Ant. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link above for you to click on so that you can go and watch it. In that video, I basically went over general care and information as well as sting myself with that insect. But today I am outside and I am hoping to find a wild Eastern Velvet Ant. And I mean, I might go and sting myself again. I, I mean, I've done it before. I, I might just go and do it again. <laughs> Didn't really plan to, but I mean, might as well. Why not, right? Uh, I'm hoping to find a female. I mean, if I find a male, that's okay. Um, in my opinion, the females are much cooler uh, within this species than the males. But if I find the insect, Regardless, you know, whether it's a male or female, I'll be happy. So let's see if I can find one. <laughs> so the spot where I'm at right now, this is typically where I find most of my Eastern Velvet Ants. Um, the soil I would describe as like a sandy, kind of like, I don't know, dirt-like soil. Um, nothing like the desert, obviously, but this is typically where you would find uh, Eastern Velvet Ants, at least on the East Coast. It's pretty random too when you're finding them because they'll just be running out. There's not like a particular spot where, you know, I could just go and like lift up a rock or, um, you know, anything like that. They're just kind of hiding and then they'll come out and just run across. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew I saw something moving. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. A female, just what I wanted. All right, let me go and get her real quick. Ooh, there we go. There we go. All right, so this is Dasimutilla occidentalis, the Eastern Velvet Ant, also known as the Cow Killer. All right, I'm just gonna bring her more into the light so that you guys can see her better. So just give me a few seconds. All right, so this is Dasimutilla occidentalis, the Eastern Velvet Ant, and this one is a female. Now, what's interesting about this species, hold on, I'm just trying to go up my arm. What's interesting about this species is that they are sexually dimorphic, meaning that the males and the females of this particular species exhibit different physical uh, traits. So the females don't have wings and that's why they commonly get, get mistaken for ants. Um, that's actually where they get their, uh, their common name, velvet ant. Even though they are not ants, these are actually a species of a wingless wasp. So they are a wasp species. The males, however, have fully functional wings and they are able to fly, but the females are grounded. Now, just like all male wasps, and I mean, this goes for all male bees and all male ants as well. They do not possess a venomous stinger. There is no such thing as a male wasp or a male bee or a male ant that can sting. Um, but the females, on the other hand, this female does possess a venomous sting. As I mentioned earlier, I have stung myself before, if you haven't seen that video, and I'll probably do it later on in this video. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys some stickers that I have for sale on my website. All of these are of various animals that I drew on paper, and then I converted those drawings into stickers. Just to give you an idea of what they look like up close, all of these stickers are extremely durable, they're long lasting, and they are also waterproof as well. This is of a Southern Black Widow that I drew. And as you can see, these are all legit hand drawings that I've made using those markers right there. So if any of you would like to support my small business, you can head on over to kelvinwiley.net. Again, that is kelvinwiley.net. 
I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for supporting my website, but also supporting this channel as well. And now, back to the video. Now, knowing that the females can sting, as you can see, I am just gently handling her without any problems. She is not stinging me. These wasps were non-aggressive. The female will only sting when she feels threatened, um, usually when she feels trapped. So if I were to enclose her in my fist, I'm not gonna, you know, squeeze down, but you know, she will deliver a venomous sting. Their name, well, I should say their nickname, Cow Killer, it's just nothing more than that. It's just a nickname. They can't actually kill a cow. That is just a myth. Um, <laughs> it's just nonsense. But the, the sting, for most people, it is painful. I mean, I've been stung many times by this species. Um, you know, it's not saying it's the most pleasant thing, but you know, it's, it's bearable. The female also has warning coloration. She is bright red. This individual is more of a reddish orange. There are some that I, I have found that are more red in coloration. I prefer those better. I mean, the red is just so beautiful, but the, the red orange ones, such as this female is also beautiful as well, not taking away from her at all, but uh, they do have warning coloration. So if a predator sees that, it, she's bright red, that usually means, you know, stay away from me. I can potentially hurt you. <laughs> now the females are venomous. They have a venomous stink. They are not poisonous. So if a predator were to eat this, they would be just fine. They don't have any toxins. Um, well, any inedible toxins within their bodies. They are perfectly fine to eat. So the life cycle of the Eastern Velvet Ant is quite interesting and very fascinating, at least to me, where the Eastern Velvet Ant will actually lay its egg on the larva of the Eastern Cicada Killer larva. So if you're not familiar with Eastern Cicada Killers, so Eastern Cicada Killers are a type of wasp that fly out and catch cicadas and then they bring them underground after paralyzing them and they then lay their egg on the body of the cicada. The egg hatches and out comes the Eastern Cicada Killer larva, which will then consume the paralyzed body of the cicada. Well, the Eastern Velvet Ant, the females after mating, will crawl down into the burrows, uh, the burrows of an Eastern Cicada Killer and will lay its egg on the larva of the Eastern Cicada Killer, you know, its baby. And so the egg will then hatch and then eat the larva of the eastern cicada killer so its larva consumes a larva of the eastern cicada killer which i find is pretty ironic <laughs> and funny um but then shortly after they consume the larva of the eastern cicada killer the eastern velvet ant will then pupate and then shortly after that will emerge out of the ground as an adult wasp now, before I go ahead and sting myself, I just want to give a brief statement. Do not try to recreate or attempt this. I have been doing this for years. My body is a little bit more tolerable to insects, stings, and bites. I just don't want anybody to get severely injured. You might have a possible allergic reaction that you don't even know about. Some people are allergic to insect venom. Even if you aren't allergic, do not try to recreate or attempt this. You can really see how long the stinger is compared to the body of this insect. It's incredibly long and skinny. Many wasps, you can kind of go about picking them up in a way to avoid the stinger. This species, it doesn't matter how you pick it up, it will be able to contort its body and sting you. <laughs> so um, yeah, do not attempt this or recreate it. I'm actually, because I've done my forearm before, um, I'll just do my hand, top of my hand. Stinger is like a long strand of hair, honestly. Mm -hmm. Didn't go on my, my hand yet. Come on. There we go. There we go. It got me. It's, it's in. It's in. You see that? 
it is in oh wow there we go i gotta see if we can go again right there yep yep oh yeah like a long <laughs> strand of hair it's like it's pulling it out but that's a stinger super skinny for a stinger super long too Oh yeah. There we go. Right, it's gotten me like at least four or five times already. All right, it might be done. It looks like it put its stinger back in. All right, let me put this wasp away. Let's just focus on my hand. You can kind of see where the stinging site was. I'm starting to develop some hives, some minor swelling. If you're wondering what this uh, mark is right here in my hand, that's when I got bit by a wheel bug. <laughs> and I still have the scar from that. But um, yeah, that is uh, the sting from a Eastern Velvet Note. So this is pretty much as big as the swelling is most likely going to get. It's probably not going to get any bigger than that. But overall, it's not that bad. Alright guys, well there you have it. That was the sting from an Eastern Velvet Ant, aka the Cow Killer. Now, I know you guys couldn't physically feel what I felt, but I'm sure you could use your imagination. It wasn't terrible, it was bearable. It was manageable, it's not gonna kill you. <laughs> but um, it's also not the best feeling in the world, but it's also not the worst. So that's how I would put it. Now, how I would describe the pain, um, I mean, it feels like, I don't know, like electrifying, I guess would be the word. <laughs> Uh, and then what follows is a burning, tingling sensation after the venom starts to enter the bloodstream. Uh, and then from there on out, it's just uh, irritation. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's what, in my opinion, most stings and bites feel like for the most part. Just um, electricity and a uh, hot burning sensation if you've ever been bit or stung by something venomous. Um, but yeah, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also follow me on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, kelvinwiley.net and I will see you guys in the next video.